I don't remember the last time I woke up when I wasn't in pain. Invisible illness is something that I struggle with every single day. It's not just period pain. It's not just Such an bad, isolating and pain. lonely disease. Such a huge you really amount. Do I don't really remember. Some days feel like you are. And that makes it Unfortunately, being a sufferer of endometriosis or endo isn't unique in that one in 10 Australian people, just like Nikki, will face a very similar health journey or from a disease most people have never even heard of. There is currently no known cure for endo and the information about treatment changes every day. And although endo can be managed effectively with drugs, most treatments aren't safe for long-term use, which can make living day to day a continual struggle. When were you diagnosed and what was that experience like for you? I was first diagnosed eight years ago, I think. I was 19 at the time. Um, it was all very confusing. I didn't understand anything about it. I'd never heard the word endometriosis before in my life. At the time, I didn't realise how horrific my periods were and the pain and the bleeding wasn't normal. And that was when so many mixed diagnoses came into play, like they played it passed it off as IBS, um, they sent me for endoscopies and colonoscopies, they said it was just anxiety, um, and they just kept telling me, no, you're better, you're cured. Um, it's The endometriosis is gone. Are there normal everyday activities that endo makes really hard to do? Um, I get pain every single day from these conditions, not just period pain, it's not just bad period pain. It is every single day pain, a whole body disease that affects literally every aspect of your life. Everyday little tasks that seem so simple, like having a shower, um, cooking, cleaning, going grocery shopping, going for a drive in the car, all those things can actually have a huge impact on how I'm feeling and can really flare my pain and symptoms. Endo is a disease that is commonly misunderstood in our society, with many people just believing it's bad period cramps. It is, however, so much more than that, which is why for women like Nikki, advocating and encouraging people to use their voices is so important. The misinformation out there um, makes it really, really hard to get understanding and empathy from other people because they simply just don't understand and that's not their fault. There's just such a lack of research and information out there. Um, so I guess I try and combat that by talking about it as much as I can and trying to spread the word about what it really is. Can you tell me a bit more about your work in the advocacy space? I think it was maybe 2017 or 2018 I first posted about endometriosis um, online. I was writing blog posts um, about it, uh, which helped a lot of my friends, family and colleagues learn more about what I was going through. I hadn't really told anyone at that stage. So it presented like a really good opportunity to talk about it. And I found that through that, we ended up making a huge endometriosis community online. And I met so many other people who suffer with the same thing. I go through phases of sharing lots and not sharing at all because sometimes going through and battling the symptoms makes it really hard to talk about it. Um, but I do try as much as I can to speak on it online. Does advocating for endo awareness, do you believe, open a door for your friends and family to help further understand what you're going through and how to support you? The advocacy space where I've opened up about all of this online means that, and, and in face-to-face -face conversations, means that people have a deeper understanding of why. And yeah, the support is really important. I couldn't do this without my friends and my family. Um, they, they are my rock and they are the people who get me through every single day. I, I genuinely couldn't do it without them. My hope for the future is to build more awareness and understanding for endometriosis and its related conditions. Nothing can prepare you for a life with endometriosis. This condition has such a catastrophic impact on those who suffer silently every single day. But we are warriors and we will keep fighting.